This is part eight of the Raspberry Pi Kubernetes Home Lab. We're building an NFS server. This video also works for any Linux distribution. The only caveat would be uh, the packages you would install. So for this particular video, the packages are for Debian based systems, uh, but the mounting, the Etsy exports and the STF stab, that's all the same. Uh, stick around at the end, uh, around the 10 minute mark. I build a playbook for all these. Uh, so it takes about 10 minutes to install NFS server and get a client hooked up and then 10 minutes to about write the playbook. So if you found this video um, without coming from my previous videos where this is part of setting up a Raspberry Pi Kubernetes home lab, this video only applies to creating an NFS server on a Debian based system because of the packages you're going to be downloading have different names depending on what architecture you're using and specifically for this video we're using Ubuntu 2004 uh, LTS uh, with a Raspberry Pi uh, ARM64 architecture. Now that the kubedm cluster is up and running as you can see here on the right when we deploy applications into pods those containers need to mount volume somewhere persistently we call it persistent storage in Kubernetes using a persistent volume claim or whatever we mount to this, the worker system that the container gets hosted on, once the container disappears, the storage is gone, it's ephemeral. So real quick, gonna build an NFS server on a Raspberry Pi, gonna write it into a playbook. It'll take about five, 10 minutes. It's pretty easy. So I'm on the management node for the home lab. This is where everything that's gonna interact with the cluster but not be stored on the cluster is gonna be installed. So I'm gonna create the NFS server. Uh, so first we've gotta do a sudo app get install and we have to install the nfs-kernel-server package and its dependencies uh, and this is going to get us everything we need to create an nfs server uh, and what that means is basically we can export files and directories on this file system on this host and then we can tell other hosts to go to this host and mount those exported directories. So now that we've gone ahead and we've installed the NFS packages required to use and make an NFS server, Management01 is now an NFS server. Any host in my environment can use uh, NFS to connect to exported uh, directories on this host. So I'll just make a note of what I need to do to make a playlist here later. So we need to install NFS. Uh, and now I need to create a directory to export. So we need to decide what directories on the NFS server are going to be exports. What are going to be the mount points that we can allow hosts to mount to and store data in. So I'm going to go ahead and actually, uh, I'm probably going to use mount. So if we go to slash mount, it's empty. So sudo make directory here. Uh, and we'll call it k8s for Kubernetes data. So I've got ahead and I made a directory to export uh, k 8 data. So that's done. So now that that export directory is created, uh, we need to change some of the permissions on it. So if we do an ls-la, we can see it's owned by root right now. Uh, we don't want root on other hosts to be the ones connecting here. So we need to allow other users. So we just need to change some of the permissions. So right now I'm gonna change the owner uh, to k 8 admin. Uh, which is the administrator that I'm logged into now on all of the hosts in my cluster uh, or in my home lab. Okay, it's data. I'm actually going to sudo that. So we do an ls-la. We can see kits admin is now the owner. Um, and actually, I'm going to specify the group there as well. And now we have permissions set up uh, for that export directory. Uh, so let's do end permissions so and keep that in mind. That's all going to be the same task. So now we need to create a Etsy exports file. So if you go ahead and do a open up Etsy exports and, and if it doesn't exist, uh, you can go ahead and create it. Uh, and there's going to be some information on there on uh, how to examples of how to use it. Uh, but we're just going to do a simple, first we need to find the directory that we want to export. The directory on the NFS server that will be the share that we will allow users to connect to. 
So we're going to do the mount kates data directory that we created earlier. Um, it's important not to put that leading slash there. Don't do that. Don't put that leading slash. Just leave that. And then we have to define which hosts are allowed to connect. Uh, so maybe we want if we want to allow all hosts, we'll just do an asterisk. Uh, but we could define an IP if we only wanted this IP to connect, and then our options, right? Or we can do a range of IPs, but right now I'm only going to do an asterisk for all hosts are allowed to connect. Uh, we're going to do read and write for the permissions. Uh, and then I think uh, we'll, we'll do a sync. Uh, and I'm just going to leave it bare bones just like that. So now that we have created our SV exports, uh, I'm going to have to go ahead and make a reminder to make part of that part of the Ansible playbook. Uh, insert uh, apply Etsy exports. And I'll probably do that with a template. Now that we've gone ahead and told the NFS server which directories we would like to export, we actually have to update our export table uh, to allow the server to actually begin exporting these. So we'll do a sudo exportfs-ra. Uh, and you'll see I have a note here because I didn't define subtree check or no subtree check in Etsy exports. It, def it defines a default of uh, no subtree check for me. So that takes care of that. So now this directory should be exported uh, and, or, and it should be mountable now. So if I, let me go into case data here and let's just make a test file here. Oh, test.txt. We'll just say hi and then we'll quit. And then we'll quit. So I've got a file in the exported directory on the NFS server. So now let's go to, over to a client and attempt to mount this directory so we can see if it worked. So now that we've got the NFS server serving up a sh exported share, a directory, uh, we can then connect to it with the client. So on Kate's admin on Kate's master zero one, another host in the network, uh, it has access, it can ping management 01 over here, which is the NFS server. And before we can uh, attempt to connect, we the client actually needs to ensure it has some packages available for NFS as well. Not the same packages because the packages we installed on the server were only for a server. The client needs its own packages uh, only to become a client, not a server. So we're gonna apt install nfs-common. All right, yes. And we're getting the necessary packages required to connect to an NFS server. So now that the client has the required software installed, we can go ahead and attempt to mount this. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit etcf stab with the mount point to the NFS share uh, because I want it to mount persistently across reboots. Um, and I've already added the line here, but just to explain what's going on, we have the IP address, you can use the host name as well, of the NFS server, and then we need a colon, and then we need to define the directory of the share we want to mount on this machine. So we wanna mount the only exported directory available to us, which is mount case admin on the NFS server to this host slash mount. We have to define a type, a file system type, NFS, and then we have some options we can define, like read, write, know exec, all that good stuff. And we'll just leave it defaults and we'll do a zero and a one. We'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll do a sudo mount dash A. And now, it's you can see it went through successfully. I see the in the mount. You can see that I successfully have mounted the NFS server's Kate's data share, and I have a file called test.txt, and it's owned by Kate's admin because that was the user that created it on the NFS server. So if I let's say uh, let's echo, I don't know, hello into a file one here. You can see I have file one here, but if I go to the NFS server, uh, you can see that I now have a file one here. 
as well. So we've successfully created an NFS server and we've successfully mounted that NFS server on a client in the network. All right, so I'm done building that playbook. I sped it up in the video, but it took about 10 minutes to build from scratch. Not bad. So I'm running it right now, first time. Looks like it's going well. Add the mount point to SCF stab. All right, looks like it's done. Let's see if it worked. Uh, I already configured master zero manually. So let's check out another node in the cluster. Let's go to worker zero one. Let's check out slash mount here. Hey, look at that it worked. Um, I suppose I could have made, uh, you know, a debug uh, to test the mount point, uh, give me an output to see if it worked or not through the playbook. But that's all we needed for now. Uh, so stay tuned for the next video. Uh, we're gonna deploy an app in the Kubernetes cluster, uh, and we're gonna use the persistent volume claim uh, to mount our container, our pods to the NFS share.